Hello everyone and welcome to this session on modules in Python. Today we are going to discuss this topic which is a very important topic in Python which helps you in reusability of code and you don't need to rewrite the code again and again. So we will see what are the nitty gritties in writing modules in Python. Now what's in it for us today? We are going to discuss what are Python modules, why do we need to use them, what are the different types of Python modules and how differently in different ways we can import these modules in our code. Now a Python module is nothing but a simple Python file with .py extension including the statements and the definitions. So basically you need to prepare a module file with all the functions which you want to import into your regular Python code across all the modules. Now it contains codes that you can reuse in several programs. So it's like saying you write once a piece of code like common utility methods, calculation methods, rounding off, addition, subtractions, or some common business rules which can be reused across your uh, project, then you keep it at one place. Now this helps in such a scenario where you have a large team different set of developers are working on different different modules different uh, specifications but one single utility module file dot py file will contains all the common and reusable functions which not each and every individual developer can will go and change it's only few set of administrators or the senior developers can maintain and pass it on to the team now for example, a file containing Python code demo.py is will be called as a module and its module name would be demo. So you need to take care that whatever the name of the file is, that is what will get imported in your Python code. So we will see that with our certain examples on our Jupyter notebook. Now, why do we need to use as I have uh, reiterated? It provides flexibility to organize the code in a logical way and it enables reusability which is the most important factor. So one of course you can organize the code you keep the reusable code at one place or you can keep a modular approach and also reusable so no not all the developers have to go and rewrite that code and it, it is uh, easy to maintain and helps in debugging the code easily. So if you know that there is an error coming there is an issue coming uh, in one of the uh, modules which is imported or which is in lying in the common file then it becomes easy to debug you just have to go and check that particular function you don't need to go and check in each and every piece of code now there are two types of python modules definitely there are built-in modules which python library provides which you don't need to import explicitly but there are certain user defined modules which you create on uh, yourself for your own custom development, for your own custom programming. So built-in modules are predefined modules and are part of the Python standard library. For example, random, date, time, sys. So we will take a look at these examples also. And of course, the user-defined modules, which is the primary objective of this session, where we are gonna show you how do you create your own defined modules and then import them. So the user creates the user defined modules to ease complex tasks in a project. So you program the complex piece of the code in a common module and give it to everyone. You can define your own functions and classes. Now, what are the different ways? There are five different ways you can import modules. So you can just say import module name and all the uh, classes and functions within that module will get imported. You can give an alias. So basically giving an alias makes it simple and uh, you can refer that alias throughout your code. Then if you want to import anything specific from the entire module, you don't want to import all the functions and classes, then you can just import the specific uh, functions and classes and give their name. Then fourth is from module, you want to import any address as an alias. You can import and give an alias to the specific uh, function name or the class name. And then of course, similar to the first syntax, you can module all everything. So first and the last syntax are almost 
having the same meaning to module to import everything in your module. Okay, so with this background, uh, uh, let's first take a look at the Python file. So we have what we have done is we have created a module calculations.py. So just please focus on the part where the name of the file is calculations. And in this Python file.py file, we have created a couple of functions uh, and the relevant logic related to those functions. So very simple functions like addition add, you pass two variables and you send the result, uh, add the variables and send it back. Basically, we are overriding uh, the Python internal operator add in our Python module and we will be invoking this one. So we'll show you how to invoke. Then you will have, I have written multiplication, division, remainder. So you do, you pass two variables, divide them uh, and find the remainder. Then now a custom function where I'm adding 10 to both the variables which are being passed to this function and returning the result. Then there is a function which checks whether the number is a prime. And if it is not a prime number, you will get this output. And if it is, you will get a, is a prime number. Okay. And then another function which says check anagram. So we will just sort the two strings which we will send and check uh, both are equal or not. If both are equal, then the strings are anagrams. Otherwise, they are not. So these are the set of functions which you have written. Now we will see how will we use them in our code. Now, first syntax which I am writing is import calculations. So this is the name of my .py file which is residing in the same folder where I am writing this piece of code. And now if you see in my .py I have a variable y whose value is 6. So I'm just using that value and running it and printing it. I'm just going to uh, show you how explicitly I'm invoking the functions in the calculations class in the calculations.py file. Okay. Now let's invoke another function remainder passing 140 and then I should get 20 as an output. Okay. So this has gone back and executed this particular function. Now what I'm going to do is another example of my addition. I'm saying calculations.add. I'm going to initialize and pass two variables. And my expected output is 35. Okay, so it has gone and executed this function. Now I'm going to show you another syntax of importing. So from calculations, I'm just importing the add function. So I'll ask for user input to enter for one and two numbers and then I'm just going to add it. Two and five. So I got my output as seven. Now the difference to be noted over here is that in the previous uh, syntax, I was making a call like calculations.add, but now I don't need to make a calculations.add syntax uh, invocation. I just need to say import add and I just need to use the add function. That's all. Now let's use another syntax to import module so i'm using import calculations as cal so all the modules are imported but the alias uses cal and similarly like the previous example i'm going to take two inputs and print the sum now the difference in this syntax and this syntax is i'm using the alias cal dot add but my output should be same. Okay. Similarly, I can call prime, whether it's not a prime or prime number. I can call the check anagram using the same alias. 
and I can call the remainder function. Okay. So I hope you have noticed that the difference in importing the way of importing the module makes a lot of difference, right? Now let's take another example of importing some functions or variables. So I'm going to explicitly, I'm importing my variable y and functions multi prime and check anagram explicitly. And I'm going to print y. Okay. And I'm going to multiply two numbers. So if you see, I'm using these aliases over here. Okay. I'm using these variables directly as I've already imported. Now I'm going to say prime nine. Now it's printing none. If you see it's because of the statements which are not executed, right? So that's why you are seeing. Now let's check anagram. And now no, another thing to be noted is I'm trying to invoke a function remainder, which I have not imported over here. So let's see how, what error Python throws. Okay. So yeah, so Python has throws an error that name remind remainder is not defined because I have not imported it over here. So now in order to import remainder, what I'm now doing different is importing all the functions. Now, if I use remainder, it should run. Okay. I'm using divide. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to show you another function, which is a, a utility function, directory function, which will show me all the functions, variables as part of the Python file, add, add 10, check anagram, divide, multi, prime, remainder, y. And of course, these are some inbuilt packages, uh, which are already there in the Python file as part of the Python uh, loader. But these are the ones which I have created. So you can actually see the list of all those uh, functions in one go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you an example of inbuilt modules. So this import math, math is an inbuilt module of Python. And I'm going to show you how you can see all the relevant functions within the math module. All these are the math module functions which are available for you to use. I'm going to show you one or two. So like print math 2 to the power 8 and you get the answer 256. Print math remainder. So I'm not invoking my uh, module function. I'm invoking the math inbuilt uh, library function remainder and the remainder is 0 40 divided by 2 remainder is 0 and square root of 81 9 then very important another very interesting utilities of date time which you can use and you can print today's date and time then another utility is random utility and I'm going to create a list L1 and write a piece of code which will choose a random element from this list and just print it. Okay. So if first time it has chosen Oppo again, if I run it, it will choose one plus if I again run it, it might choose something else. So it will randomly pick. Okay. Okay, so with this, we have seen that you can create your own utility functions, import it, uh, write it in a piece of code.py file, import it in your code as an alias or all the modules and uh, use them, or you can use the Python inbuilt uh, modules, right? I hope you all guys had a great learning session and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Thank you. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.